John Bramblett was born in El Paso, Texas in 1971. Since childhood, he suffered from vision problems and at the age of 30, he became completely blind. After that, he suffered from severe depression. This is how he describes his condition at the time. I was not just depressed, I was in mourning. The life I had led, along with the future I had planned, were dead and gone. I felt that I had no possibility, that I was basically weak. However, John still managed to cope with his feelings. Painting helped him to overcome his sadness and apathy. He expressed his emotions by drawing pictures. According to the artist, this activity gave him peace, hope and harmony, calmed him down and made him feel like a full-fledged person. Of course, his first drawings were deformed and clumsy, but even the fact that he could feel lines and curves gave him great hope. Even if the paintings did not look good, I had no way of seeing them. After that, he began to try incessantly to master the art of painting, without being able to see what he had created. And his efforts were not in vain, because his concentration and attention increased, and his work became bolder, brighter, and took less time. John thinks about all his paintings first, and then uses paint and fabrics to create outlines that he can fill with his fingers. Bray alone the paint tubes helps John identify the colors he needs, but over time he has learned to recognize them by touch. Over the past decades, Bramblitt's work has won several awards and attracted media attention. It's not surprising that the artist paints many paintings depicted eyes, but he no longer sees blindness as an obstacle. Nowadays, the works of the blind artists are valued no less than other paintings by famous contemporary artists. His exhibitions have been held in more than 30 countries, and in 2008 a documentary was even made about John. In addition, Bramblett was awarded three United States Presidential Awards for founding a number of free workshops where low-income people were tough to paint. John also wrote the book Shooting in the Dark, where he talked about his artistic career.